Okay, for today's class, I'll be discussing default route configuration uh, using your Cisco Packet Tracer. So basically, uh, the, there's there are two functions of a router. So the first one is to uh, forward packet. So just like what I've discussed from previous lessons, that uh, every time you look for a destination which is outside of your of the local area network. Basically, the router is the one responsible for locking the destination outside of your network. Okay, for uh, and the other one is to select the best path or destination or the best path or route on the network. Okay, so the, the first thing that we're going to do is the default route configuration. So basically, this is a non specific route. Uh, the route is not defined because we are using. The values 0 .0 0.0.0.0, or meaning to say uh, any network address or network route. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create the diagram. Okay, so go to the routers on the uh, on the on the devices. So select the router dash pt. That's uh, place two routers. Okay, so the other uh, the, the other two devices are computers, generic computer, okay, so let's connect, connect the two computers on the router. Okay, so just make sure that the the cable is connected to fast ethernet so basically uh the you have to know the port where you connect the device so because that is important when configuring in uh, in a cisco device okay let's say for example make sure that the computer is connected to the fast ethernet port of the router for this uh for this activity Okay, so fast Ethernet of the router. Same as well the with the other PC here. So they build PC3. Okay, make sure it is connected to the fast Ethernet. And also here on the router, it is connected to the fast Ethernet board. Okay, so it is important that you know where you connect the wires or the or connect the device okay because on the configuration uh we're going to define which port are you going to configure a particular configuration okay for the two routers so we're going to connect the two routers okay so if you're going to connect a serial a serial cable here okay so make sure this is connected to serial 2 slash 0 Okay, but technically you can choose different uh, port, but for you for for it to be able to follow the discussion or the demo, so basically you have to connect it to the to serial two slash zero, and same as well with router three or the router the second router here, which has labeled router three. Connect it also to zero serial two zero. Okay, so basically, uh, the diagram states that we're going to use 192.168.1.0 slash 24 for the network here. So meaning to say from PC2 to the route to router 2, this is the network addressing. Okay. For the connectivity here, we're going to use 192.168.2.0 slash 24. From serial 20 of router of the first router going to the second router, so that's the network addressing the 2.0 slash 24. And for this uh, segment, we're going to use uh, 3.0. Okay, so the 3.0 slash 24 
connectivity or net uh, IP addressing or logical addressing. Okay, as you can see, uh, if this is uh, if the if this computer will connect to the second computer, which is labeled PC3, uh, they have different network address. So meaning to say they are on different networks. So this uh, uh, we have to configure the router so that the packet will be forwarded from this network going to the other network or the network network address 3.0/24. Okay, so let's start first by assigning IP to the first computer. So click on the first computer. Okay. So click desktop. Then IP configuration. Okay. So the connectivity is 192.168.1.0. So we're going to use, or the IP addressing is 192.168.1.0 slash 24. So let's assign the IP address 192.168.1.2. So I've used two because the 1.1 will be will be configured on the router, on the first router or the gateway. Okay? So the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. 255, the default gateway is 192.168.1.1. Okay? So this default gateway, 192.168.1.1 will be assigned to the uh, to the port or the fast ethernet port of of the first router okay so open router so click router the first router go to the cli okay if you will be asked continue with configuration dialog so uh, we're, we're not going to use the wizard just say, uh, click no. Okay. So first is we're going to go to the uh, global configuration. Enable, then configure terminal. Okay. So we are now on the global configuration mode. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to configure an interface. Okay. So the command for uh, uh, assigning an interface or a port is interface. Okay? So the first port that we're going to configure is the fast ethernet. The fast ethernet of the, the first router. So that is fast ether, ethernet 0 slash 0. Okay? Enter. Okay, so the IP address that we're going to assign is IP address. The command is IP space address, then 192.168.1.1, which is the default gateway of the first computer. Then the subnet mask of this one, 255.255.255.0. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is go to the interface. Okay, on the global configuration mode, type interface space fast ethernet 0 slash 0 then assign the ip address using the command ip space address 192.168.1.1 then the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 okay so the the ip address and the subnet mask is on a single line configuration okay so we have assigned the ip address 192.168.1.1 uh, 255, 255, 255, that zero to, to the, uh, to the router's, uh, fast ethernet. Okay, as you can see, that thing is still disabled or, uh, is still down. So basically, uh, in routers, in Cisco routers, you have to, uh, make the port active. So basically, you just have to type no shutdown, no shutdown. So... Uh, we are referring to interface fast ethernet. We assigned IP address 192.168.1.1.255.255.255.0 subnet mask. And we may, we activate the port by using the no shutdown command and press enter. Okay. So next thing that we're going to do is we're going to configure... The serial 2 slash 0. So this is the port of uh, the first router. And as you can see, the link between the first router and the second router uses 
the network address 192.168.2.0/24. So for the serial 2/0, we're going to use 192.168.2.2. So that's a sign. 2.2 on the serial interface of the first router. Ah, sorry. 2.1. So we're going to use that uh, the IP address 2.1. For the serial interface of router 2 or the first router uh, and the second router uh, which is also uh, using the serial port 2 slash 0. So the IP address that we're going to use here is 192.168.2.2. Okay? So uh, next thing that we're going to do, we're still on the first router. So, you're going to configure the interface, interface serial 2 slash 0. Okay? So, the IP address would be 192, 192.168.2.1, subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Okay? So, always remember to make it active, just type no. Shut down. Okay, the link is still inactive because the other side, which is the second router, uh, the port is still not active. Okay? So, that's why it's still uh, nakadown pa rin is because uh, the other router is nakadown pa rin yung link or your port. Okay? So, always remember to save your configuration. So, exit. Then, exit again. Then, copy, running config, dash config, start up, dash config, and press enter. Okay, just press enter. Then the configuration is already saved. Okay, let's do this on the other side. So, for PC3, for PC3 or the second computer, so major confusing your labeling, but uh, this is the second computer on the network diagram. So let's assign 192.168.3.2. Okay, the 3.1 will be assigned to the gateway or to the router's port. 192.168.3.1. Okay. So again, uh, select the second router. Okay, on the CLI, you'll be asked for the wizard. Just click no or configuration dialog. Just click no. Then enable, enable, then configure terminal. Okay, so you are not, now on the global configuration mode. So, since we need to configure again the fast Ethernet port of the second router, so let's go to the interface, interface, fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. IP address will be 192.168.1.1. Ah, oh, sorry. That's 192.168.3.1, 255.255.255.0. Okay, so the 3.1, 192.168.3.1 is the default gateway's IP of the computer. And that is assigned to the fast Ethernet port of the second router. Okay, just click enter. Okay, so next is again. Uh, to make the port active, click uh, type no, shut down. Okay. So, the link turns into green. So, it means uh, the active na yung port niya. Okay. So, next is we're going to assign. We're going to assign the IP address of the serial interface of the second router. So, that is 192.168.2.2. Okay, go to the interface. Interface serial 2.0. IP address 
192.168.2.2 Subnet mas 255.255.255.0 Then uh, again, so always remember to make the port active. Click no, sh type no shutdown. Okay, so all of the links are active. Okay, so basically, uh, you you uh, we've we've already configured all of the IP addressing. But if you're going to check if mapping you na from one computer to another, so let's say this is uh 192.168.1.1. And the destination would be this computer. This is 192.168.3.2. Uh, sorry, this is 1.2. And this is 3.2. Okay, let's, so let's try. So on the first computer, command prompt, then ping 192.168.3.2. So as you can see, the destination is unreachable. Okay. So what we're go since uh, it is an it is unreachable. Basically, there's a something uh, something about our configuration. So we missed configuration uh, some configurations here. So the 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 missing configuration is the routing configuration. So this uh, the default route don't na papasok in default route configuration. Okay. So how do we do con uh, default route configuration? Just go to the router. Okay. So you can uh uh you can type IP route. 0.0.0.0 So it means that any network address then 0.0.0.0 So technically this is the command IP route for the default route IP route 0.0.0.0 Subnet mask 0.0.0.0 Then if you are configuring the first router So the next uh, the portion of this command the next uh, the the next uh, uh, command that you're going to add is the port, the exit port. Meaning to say, if this is your computer, so this is your gateway's IP. So basically, if you're going to configure a default route, uh, where do your packet will exit? Okay? So in this case, if this is the first router, so basically it will exit to the serial port. Okay? So we're going to use the serial port, serial port 2 slash 0. Okay, so uh, sorry, let's go to the global configuration first. Configure terminal. Okay, so make sure that you are in the global configuration mode. So type IP route 0 .0 .0 .0, 0 .0 .0, 0.0.0.0, 0 0.0.0.0, 0 0 then serial 2 slash 0. Okay, so that's it. So exit. Then save the configuration, copy running dash config dash start up config. Okay, so do the same thing for the second router. Click the router. Okay, so always look for the prompt. So basically, we are still on the interface. So interface configuration. So there's the config dash if. So we can exit. Type exit. Okay. So now we are now on the global configuration mode. So basically, if you are confused about the command, sometimes command does not work on a particular mode. So you can always always exit and you can always go back. Okay. So you can always exit uh, and go to an interface or uh, go back again by typing exit. Okay, and try the command. Okay, so sometimes kasi when we are uh, using a command, why is it it's not working on a particular prompt? Okay, because you are on a different configuration. But, but the technique there, if it does not work, just type exit to go back to the previous uh, prompt. Okay, and try the command. Okay, but for this one, 
Ah, uh, the command for the IP route or the default route, ah, uh, it should be on the global configuration. So that will be the global configuration prompt routers config then the sharp, then type IP route zero dot zero dot zero dot zero dot zero dot zero dot zero. Then the serial port again two slash zero. So again, see, this is a second router. And the exit of your packet will be on the serial 2 slash 0. So that's why we assign the default route to serial 2, 0. Okay, so press enter. Type exit again. Then we're going to save copy running dash config slash startup dash config. Press enter and enter again. Okay, so let's try. So we already added the default route, default route configuration. So let's try to ping from PC2 of the first PC to the second PC. Ping 192.168.3.2. Okay, so we're going to ping from this from the first PC to the second PC. And the second piece's IP is 3.2. Press enter. Okay, so you have a first request timeout, but eventually there's a connection, there's a reply from 192.168.3.2. So, meaning to say, uh, the routing configuration is successful, and basically the packet, if you're going to simulate, you should get the packet simulator. Okay. Yes, uh let's uh on the packet simulator, so just leave the ICMP. So let's try from the first PC going to the second PC, then auto capture. Okay, so your packet reaches your destination. Okay, so it means that the routing is successful. Okay, so that's how you uh, configure a default route configuration in Cisco, okay? So that will be for your activity. So kindly do the network diagram and uh, capture the ping. If it is successful, then upload it to the Canvas uh, activity task.